Hi, this is Dr. A with a, another APA format quick tutorial video with a look at setting up the paper and looking at margins, spacing, header, and fonts. All right, so first setting up the paper, first thing you want to do is um, you're going to use standard size paper with a one inch margin on all sides. This is a default setting in Word, so you really shouldn't have to do anything about it, but you can double check to make sure that your setting is correct. So you would go under layouts and then you would click on margins and double check your orientation here is definitely going to be in portrait orientation uh, and your size should be standard, uh, you know, uh, A4 size eight and a half by 11. So you want to set up the spacing for the entire document to be double space uh, throughout the paper. The best way to do that is to go under layout and then in this paragraph uh, thing, you're going to hit this little arrow here and that will open up this box right here. And uh, you're going to go double space and hit OK. That should set it for the paper. If you hit set as default, it will set it for this paper and every other paper that you do. If you have to write a lot of papers, if you're just starting grad school, this might be helpful. That way you don't have to do it every time. But if you're doing a variety of assignments, you might just want to do it just for your document. Next, you're going to set up the header. So this is also known as the running head. And um, there are a couple different requirements there. If you're writing a professional paper, you should include the paper title and the page numbers. If you're just doing a student paper, which most of you probably will be doing, uh, you just want the page numbers only. Uh, the page numbers should always be flush right, uh, and the title should be flush left. Um, the title should be in all caps. It should be no more than 50 characters. And so if your title is longer than that, a lot of titles are, you need to find a, like a key abbreviation of your title that kind of confers the gist of what your paper is about. Um, but no more than 50 characters. It's not 50 words, it's 50 characters, right? And so uh, to do that, to start the header, you're going to go here to the insert tab in Word. And then you're going to go to header. And then once you click on header, this will come up. Uh, and you want to just do the blank one with just a single entry right now, even if you want to do the two entries of the, um, if you want to do the page number and the title if you're doing a professional paper. Then uh, you're going to, you can tab over here that you can do it or not. I mean, I usually do just out of habit because I want to, it to be right. But you're going to click on this page number right here. And when you click on that and within the header function, you will get this window and uh, you want to do plane number three. So this is automatically flushing it right for you. Uh, and so and it's just plain numbers. That's usually what your professors want. There's nothing fancy about it. So it will end up looking like that. And so uh, you will have page one, page two, page three. Now, if you try to just put a, a number one on your first page without it being a page number, it'll just put one on all the pages of your paper. So you have to indicate this as a page number for it to be able to be page one, page two, page three, page four. Okay, so if you need to do a title and page numbers, maybe your instructor said that's what they want, or you're writing a professional paper, you're writing a thesis or a dissertation. So what you want to do here is, I recommend first that when you, first you've opened your header and uh, you do again the single entry, the, the one single entry, but you're going to go, you're going to stay on the left side and you're going to type your title. So again, uh, no more than 50 characters, all caps, to be an abbreviated version of your title. Okay, so uh, you are putting it right here, left, and then you're going to go tab, tab, and go over here, flush right to this area of the header, and then you're going to go quick parts, you can click on quick, quick parts arrow there, that will open up this thing, and you want to select the field, you're going to add second field in your header. 
And then uh, when you hit feel, you're going to have all kinds of choices. You want to go find the page choice here, select page, and then you can just take the first one, which is the default normal uh, page number, nothing fancy, and then you hit OK. And then it should give you something like this, uh, again, where you have your example paper, your, your title here, mine is example paper, but uh, there, your title is here on each page, and then you have page one, page two, et cetera, et cetera, on your header. Lastly, we're going to talk about fonts. So the idea of fonts, you can't just choose anything you want, but you do have some choices. Uh, you want the fonts to be accessible, which means legible, readable, easy to read for all readers. And so um, these should be used consistently throughout the paper. So if you pick a font, you stick with that font all the way through. We're not doing a different font for the title and doing a different font font from the body, just same font all the way through all the way through. So uh, the recommended fonts that are widely available are 11 point Calibri, 11 point Ar Arial, or Arial, I'm not sure, whichever, 10 point uh, Lucida Sans Unicode, the 12 point Times New Romans, the 11 point Georgia, and the 10 point Computer Modern. Um, and so the 11, 10, 12, those are the font sizes. And then the name of the font is what's listed. I put each one here that are listed in its font so you can kind of see the difference between them. They're not exactly in the right size, otherwise it really wouldn't be a readable or well seen on this PowerPoint slide. And so to do that, on your home tab, you go to the font area and you can change it right here. Um, and so that will change it just for, you know, whatever you're writing. So you can set it at the beginning. I prefer you do that. It's you know better to set it and then everything that follows is there. But um, I feel like it's better to set the, the font throughout the paper. That way, if you copy paste anything into your paper, it will do it into the correct font. So that's one thing you have to be careful. If you just, if you have it set, let's say on Calibri 11, but you want it, your instructor wanted Times New Roman, and you set it at Times New Roman, but the default of the paper is Calibri, anything that you copy paste in there would go straight into Calibri. So um, I, I feel like it's better to then, uh, if you want to change it, you can hit this little arrow here at the um, right hand corner, bottom corner of the font section, and then uh, find the font that you want in the size that you want, and then hit set as default, and then it will set it as def your default font. Um, and so you, you, know, you may need to change it for a different assignment, but at least that way, everything that you do is going to be in the correct font. So yeah, that's the, the basics right there of just getting your paper started, getting everything in the right format. All right, well, I hope that was helpful for you, and I will see you in the next video.